I mean, on the, on the record, by the way, on the record, uh, I'm just really excited to do this with a pro like you um, <laughs> next to me so I don't shit my pants. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother... into the nitty-gritty guys welcome to ear me out i'm your host roderick grant i got this silly bumbling fool next to me he's family business partner roommate sometimes gym partner instigator one of the best damn salespeople i know that i've had the pleasure of working with now we've been through a lot together college drama Chris Brown in the pool telling him to shut up. <laughs> what kind uh, of soldier boy parties? Soldier boy, soldier boy parties. <laughs> I gotta say his name right because who cares? <laughs> soldier boy parties. Um, what, what was that party that I was gonna pay a thousand dollars to get into? Soldier boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm mean, also like at twenty minutes left. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, I know, but uh, I don't like it when uh, people tell me I can't go in there. Okay, maybe I wasn't wearing the. Hottest shit at the time for Hollywood. <laughs> wearing butt people clothes, you know. I, mean, I, this is, I was wearing some comfy clothes, and um, this lady challenged me. I don't think she knew she was challenging me, but I took it as a challenge. And then I, I looked at her. I'm like, I gave her that look, like, do you really think I can't buy my way in here? And she would have gladly taken my card, mm-hmm. you know. But then Phil came out, and this is the first time Phil had my back. He's like, Rod, it's a Evan Soldier Boy party. You don't need to go to, go into that. I'm like, you're right. You don't need to give her your money. I'm like, you're right. So I just walked away. Head wasn't high, but my bank account was still high, so good move. Yeah. Um, but let's get back into this. So the iPhone X has just been revealed. How do you feel about that, Phil? Someone that still has the iPhone 6, right? Is that a 6 or a 6S? This is a 6. Okay, someone that still has the iPhone 6. Um, said that we're getting the iPhone 7, but you didn't want to get the first one because it's going to be bugs and everything in it. And now that the iPhone 8 is out, and the iPhone 10 is going to be out in about two months, pre-orders are starting in about two months. iPhone 8's not out yet, but it's about to come out. It's about to come out, but the iPhone 10 is not coming out two, yet. Yeah, not yet. Two months. We just four leaped right. years in. So before we even get into this discussion, I mean, you used to be an Android user apparently, right? Um, Android user? You used to use Android, right? I've never used Android in my life. I've always had an iPhone <laughs> since it first came out. <laughs> what? You say it like uh, <laughs> Android's a bad thing. I think before I had iPhone, I had like beepers or pagers or something like that. You know, pretty beepers. The iPhone. Slide out a slide phone. The ones you slide up. Oh yeah, the sidekick. No, no, I'm not that one. <laughs> no, no, I've seen you with a sidekick for a minute though. I never had a sidekick. Yes, you did. No, I did. Yes, you did. I never had a sidekick. <laughs> You had some crazy. I had a phone. slider phone. Where okay. You could slide up to get the keyboard. Right. Sh- right. And then I had the Almighty iPhone, which was way better than G1 at the time. The Almighty iPhone. You know what? The G1 was intriguing to me, Phil. It was very intriguing because it did things that the iPhone couldn't do. But I still had the iPhone at mm-hmm. that time. Mm-hmm. I was. I got guys. I just want you to understand. I was an avid eye user. Mm-hmm. I was an eye abuser. I mean, I used to jailbreak my iPhones. I used mm. to I used to jailbreak everybody's phones. They'd come to my door and be like, Rod, can you jailbreak it for me? And, you know, it's funny. Like, why do all these people want these iPhones jailbroken, Phil? They just want to be able to do more. It was really restricting. That's really restricting. Yeah, you could do stuff like jailbreak my iPhone. I had Jordan, uh, you know, Michael Jordan across the unlock screen dunking. You did have that. Stuff like that. You, you know? did have that. Had a lot, a lot of cool stuff on my iPhone. It was just pretty yeah. magical until faithful day right right so then android came out and they said listen you don't need to go through all this craziness you could just do it right now and i was like 
that's what I need. And you know me, Phil. I'm a power user. Some people just need a phone to have a phone. That's fine. But I'm a power user, meaning I will use the crap out of that phone. Mm -hmm. Every little nook and cranny, I will know everything about it, and I will maximize that phone to my life's full potential. That's what I'm, I use the phone for. What do you use your phone for, Phil? The basics. Yeah, well, let's, basics let's, in life. Let's get that out there. What are the basics, though? It's a couple apps. Phone calls, text messaging, emojis, whoa, you know, whoa, bitmojis. Whoa, whoa, you said emojis, like like your sh shots fired type of emojis. Like, <laughs> animal, an, like animal, Android animal. didn't have all the emojis, emojis. I like mean, they really like you sent us emojis and it's a big X Flappy sign bird. thrown up. Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. So I, what, what about that? Instagram went before it got leaked to everyone. Oh, you're, so you listen to apps oh. that came out on iPhone. <laughs> 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 so you're, you're sitting here just listing the apps that came out on iPhone yeah. before it came out on Android. So we were like peasants, right? Yeah. And you know what? This is what I call iPhone prejudice. Mm. And you can feel free to disagree with me if you want. But I definitely think this is iPhone prejudice. And uh, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna state what I think first and uh, my opinion and you could go and do yours because we've had uh, very heated debates on this iPhones was the holy grail of all phones mm -hmm. they innovated Steve Jobs was there they innovated everything mm -hmm. the screen the touch technology the swipe the unlock the the data the just the everything it, just, it was just amazing numbering your phones yeah exactly you don't need to have 2,000 contacts anymore you can have as many t contacts as you want then you had iMessage, mm. which which took us from um, SMS, which is simple, simple something message, simple message something. I don't know. Mm. I'll look it up. You can look up on your phone real quick while we're doing this. What is SMS? Yeah, thing? SMS. Then we went to MMS, and then we went to iMessage, which is like you can, use, you can use all data. You didn't need to go through the cellular provider mm -hmm. at all. And, um, man, it was an amazing phone. But then... Android short came out. Service. Short, short message service. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then Android came out with um, the G1, and I'm like, whoa, that phone's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, what were your first thoughts when you saw it? The G1. Yeah. Uh, it didn't look as cool. Uh, it was intriguing. I mean, it was a Google phone. I mean, Google's huge company. And right. I use Google. You know, I used to use Google a lot and stuff, but it just didn't look as cool and modern and breakthrough wise. You know, as much as iPhone did, you right? Know? Just it kind of revolutionized touch right. screens. Right. So let's put a little pause in that convo real quick. Let's read this meme over here. Um, I don't have an iPhone, so I have to manually ignore these hoes. Um, and then so in the message it says, "Hey, red at ten thirty-seven. Wow, red at ten thirty-nine. <laughs> I would say this is some shit." That your f boy would do, but he'd never be caught poor enough for an Android. Mm. Now, iMessage is cool because you can see when people are responding. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see when what time it got delivered, mm -hmm. right? Or even better yet, when it got read. Mm -hmm. Good evidence. Yeah, I mean, I've seen so many people like, oh, he read my, or she read my. Mm. I'm like, what? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Mm. Oh, you can see that. But you can also turn it off, right? You can. You have the option to turn so it off. So when you turn it off, do you still show blue on their phones? I I don't know. Sometimes it's weird. I guess if your phone's off or something, it'll turn green, but it's just kind of weird. So I guess if you – I think it still will go through iMessage, but it just won't tell you if they read it or not. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it won't tell you for the rest yeah, But of it. it'll, let, it'll let them know that they're of the same race. Yeah, yeah. We're the same. The same ethnicity. Avatar status. What's that? Avatar stuff. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Them. Okay. They're the same people. Yeah. You guys are the same people. Mm -hmm. So, Android is something really cool. They um, <clears throat> they put their operating system on a lot of different devices. Um, when the, the new phones came out, like the Motorola. Motorola had like the market share, basically. Um, I had the Motorola Droid. Remember that? Mm -hmm. The Droid. Droid. Remember yeah. all that stuff? Yeah. yeah. Um, it got dropped. Uh, yeah, whatever. Then I went to the Droid X, um, the Bionic, and then I saw something crazy happen. Like then I saw all these other phones start coming out of nowhere. Um, <coughs> excuse me, we had um, 
LG came out, Samsung came out, um, some other companies came out. I don't even know what they're called. Um, you could get them from a vending machine, apparently, Phil said. Um, mm -hmm. So everyone was able to get it. And most, the majority of the people that had Android, I think at that time, were people that couldn't afford iPhones. Mm -hmm. It was. It was the cheaper version of an iPhone. Now, it's safe to say that not all the versions of Android were the cheap versions. No. But it's just the majority of people in this world, 80% of Americans, do not hold the majority of the wealth. So what's that? 80% of Americans, that, that combined household income is about $50,000. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so the majority of Americans are in poverty. So if Android is appealing to the majority of Americans, then yes, okay, people with less money could easily afford an Android. Mm -hmm. You could get it out of a little plastic bin at Walmart and activate it and use it as, um, as a pay-as-you-go. For uh, my drug dealer friends out there, <laughs> Um, you can use it as a burner phone, and it's it's gone. It's over, mm. right? Mm. Mm. I know. And I think it's also good to notice the fact that when we say Android versus iPhone, we're talking about Android, the system, on all types of phones versus one iPhone. So one iPhone going against pretty much, what, safe to say 20, 30, 40 different other phones? So we're talking about different things. When people say Android has right. majority of the market share, it's all those phones going against one simple phone. Right. Um, yeah. So it's iPhone versus all the phones, right? Yeah. Because you guys have the iOS system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just like it's like um, iOS versus, versus uh, Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Microsoft is on Asus, Asus or uh, Lenovo or MSI or HP or Dell, right? Mm -hmm. But the, my problem is this. These new Android phones, I'm not even calling it Android, I use Samsung. Mm. Samsung Koreans. is a high quality product. Yes, Koreans, I know. I'm pretty sure it comes from South Korea, okay? Mm. It's a high quality item, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? But yet, I mean, even some of the Samsung devices I've purchased are more than how much iPhone is worth. Mm -hmm. Yet, there's still this stipulation that if you have Android, you are poor. Uh, Phil, you know me. How, how poor am I? You're not poor. I'm, I'm so far away from poor. I'm not trying to brag. <laughs> but I'm so far away from poor. But yet, even if I have a Samsung, the best, the hottest technology on the market, I am still labeled as poor because when I hit up somebody on their, so their cell phone and I flash green, they're like, oh, oh, wait, you, you don't, you don't have an iPhone? Mm. And I take about five minutes to respond to that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bet you damn well know I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> well, but, I mean, it's safe to say that since it turns green, you know, people like to go towards the extremes and the negatives. Right. So they don't know that you have, a, you know, a really good phone like a Samsung. They could be going to the fact they think you have like a whatever type of phone right they don't know what technology i have yeah. they just know i'm in the android family exactly i'm a man of the people phil oh i mean i'm the man of the people yeah that's why i have an android now let's read this meme over here um by uh at monster uh m zero n s t e r underscore o n e oh great <laughs> instagram is now available for android phones now i'm going to be forced to see what Poor people eat for dinner. <laughs> Hashtag Instagram. I remember that day when Android users got Instagram. Yeah, I know. I forced you to follow me. Yeah, you forced me to follow me. I forced it. I didn't want to have an Android person you know, my Instagram. I mean, I, I mean, what is... Do you think this is something that's socially okay? What, to uh, not want to have Android people on my Instagram? Absolutely. I mean, it's the same thing with every day. Would you uh, want to go to uh, dinner at, like, fast food restaurants with super obese people? I mean, if I'm at a fast food restaurant, then I would expect some super obese people to be there, yeah. Well, I mean, would they be your friend eating with you at the table? I mean, look. look, look. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> no. don't, don't be blinking at me over there. Now, listen. Listen, you, you, you're trapping me right here. You're trapping me because you know I... I love to work out. I personal train for 10 years. You know my stance on obesity. I want to attack obesity like the U.S. wants to attack North Korea. 
Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. we we were the number one obese country. Mm-hmm. Mexico took that title back. Yeah. I mean, right. Sheesh. Okay. Cool. We're number two. <laughs> wow. Or, you know, we're losing at something again. Mm-hmm. But I hang around people that I want to be like. Mm. Right. So if I'm hanging around somebody, my, my group of circles, they're, they got to be in shape. At least they got to be in shape financially, mentally, or physically, some sort of shape. Mm-hmm. Do I have some obese friends? Absolutely. If they're my friends, what do I do with them? Do I not take them to the gym? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I not uh, um, set up a workout plan for them? Mm-hmm. I don't just leave these people to just <laughs> die, Philip. All day. Okay. So, what, what? <laughs> just die, I mean, you can die slowly. Yeah. Okay, okay. On, until the, some studies show that being obese is good for your health, <laughs> I don't want to hear shit about it. <laughs> That's why I do have the word obese. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, when I had to tell people who they were, like when um, I personally trained them with their assessment and they fall under obese, they would cry. So mm-hmm. I, I, I had young girls that looked skinnier than you, Phil, cry because they were skinny fat. Mm, that's the worst. That Except is the worst. Yeah. They, they look thin as hell, but when you uh, give them the pinch test, man, mm. you could fold that. <laughs> Danger. You could fold that. Mm. Um, let's go to another one. When I see green text messages on my iPhone, yes, 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 I know. An Android is tech, uh, technological superior to an iPhone, but guess what? I do not give a fuck. Please stop. Green text is gross. <laughs> It just looks like I mean, puke. I mean, <laughs> you have. Are you an idiot? If you go to Windows Phone, yes. <laughs> no, it takes you to Android and iPhone or something. Are you poor? Yes, for Samsung. But let's look at this. So now we have the iPhone X, mm. iPhone 10. Mm. The the note the note eight is nine hundred and twenty nine dollars. The iPhone ten is uh, nine hundred and ninety nine, mm-hmm. which is a very nice play on numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, I iPhone or Mac or whatever the hell you want to call yourselves. Damn. Just iPhone. Okay. I almost got emotional there. Thanks for talking <laughs> to me. Um, but dude, the price the price point really. Mm. Nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Why? I, I guess we're going back to the whole thing about you know money or no money, and I I think Apple is just trying to have a more elite group of people. You know, I think they're trying to not. It kind of goes with the fact of Louis Vuitton, right? Louis oh. Vuitton bags. Oh. Right when uh they're bags. past their season or whatever, you know what they do with their bags? They don't sell them to discounters. Or whatever they burn them <laughs> and you know why they burn them because they don't want to diminish their brand and i think iphone is going for that they are tired of these broke people trying to use their iphones to repeat prepaid and on metro and stuff they want a lead <laughs> if your metro of don't trust you <laughs> they want a lead group of people right. that can afford phone plans and they want a certain group of people to keep their brand alive and well that's what I think. That's right. why they rose the price so much. I'll do a little meme uh, intermission right here. Hey, Green Text, yes. Do you respect me even though I'm on Android? Not really. Now that I think about it. Wow, the hate. Mm. Look, Simba, mm. everything that the light touches is iOS. What about that shadowy place? <laughs> That's Android. You must never go there, Simba. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's funny. So that was dramatic. They're taking this to my my <laughs> memories, man. Lion King. They don't play. I'm about to make a meme, dude. They don't play. I'm gonna make a meme that's with iPhone mm. climbing climbing the the mountain, mm. the hill with the wildebeest stampeding in the bottom, and then the iPhone's gonna be like, "Brother, help me!" <laughs> and the Android's gonna be Scar. <laughs> it's gonna say, "Long live <laughs> the king." Oh my. You know what's funny about uh, your screen on uh, the new iPhone 10? What about it? Samsung made it for them. Oops. That's good, you know. Collaboration. The collaboration, anyway. but you know iPhone's not going to give them credit. Not on their uh, keynote. Well, maybe not now. 
But then iPhone's like, we are coming with these new um, technology. We're coming. We're so innovative. No, they're not. Everything that the iPhone X has right now, uh, the majority of it was in the, the Note 6 or whatever it was. Mm. Like, you guys are in the past. It's like it's like when I have my friends visit me from uh, other countries and then they're like, hey, did that new Tupac album just drop? I'm like, what, what do you mean? He's dead. What? Like, you guys are living in the past and treating the past like it's the future. And you're playing on the feeble minds of the majority of iPhone users. I remember when um, iPhone was exclusive to AT&T. Mm, that's why I have AT&T. Do you, remember, do you remember that? That's why I still have AT&T. Some people don't remember why they have AT&T, but it's because it was exclusive to what? To iPhone. iPhone. And they did something horrific, but nobody noticed it but me and maybe some other uh, nerds, like you like to call us, nerds. So here's some tech stuff for you, Phil. Do you remember what 4G was? Mm, yeah, the speed. Right. So they changed it to iPhone 4. It's iPhone 4, but they're calling the iPhone 4G. But iPhone 4 users were only getting 3G speeds. But because it said 4G, and everyone thought they were getting the 4G, they even argued with people who were getting 4G and said, listen, we're getting 4G. I'm like, no, you're not. You have the iPhone 4, but you're getting 3G speeds. And then AT&T went and just changed the little logo. They, they came out with an update and changed it from 3G to say 4G, even though the speeds were not warranted 4G speeds. But because you guys don't know better and you're drowning in your Apple juice, you let Apple take advantage of you. Let's, talk, let's go a little bit more into the future. Headphone jacks. We don't need those anyway. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yes, you do. So many of you have complained about that headphone jack. No auxiliary cord. Oh, wait. You need to get an adapter. It comes with it. Does it? Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> when you buy it, it gives you a little, little connector. Sh- little shit. I'm on a roll. Don't, don't stop me now. <laughs> don't stop me now, Philip. <laughs> Okay, so they give you an adapter. Yeah. But while that adapter's there, you can't charge your phone. I'd love to play music, but my phone is dying. <laughs> so I have to choose Android. You know, I'm not going to say Android. Samsung. <laughs> Sammy doesn't play that or game. They play that and game, Philip. <laughs> Samsung said you can charge and you can auxiliary. <laughs> iPhone's like, hey, you can charge or you can auxiliary with this thing we gave you. But it's okay, you know, you guys are Apple fanboys, you're, you're rocking, you're, you're, you said, listen, we were going to back iPhone to the death, right, Phil? Yep. To the death. And then they did something else. The new iPhone X mm. got rid of Touch ID. Yes. So, Phil, is that a big deal or not a big deal to you? Uh, it's not a big deal at all. I've never used Touch ID. I just enter my code and it takes two seconds, so... You know, I'm not lazy. But what about the rest of the iPhone users? What about the rest got, of the iPhone they, users? A lot of them face love. ID. A lot of them love. Okay, so Face ID. Mm-hmm. So can I borrow, um, let's see. Can I borrow your iPhone? I don't have an iPhone. Can I, I was charging, never mind. Your battery life is diminishing because it, <laughs> it doesn't have quick charge on that one. Um, what is this? Six. So, so here's my uh, S8 Plus, okay? I'm, da- I'm going to up. Biometrics. Yeah, whatever. So let's say you're in a business meeting. Now, you shouldn't be looking at your phone when you're in a business meeting or any meeting, right? Mm -hmm. in general but let's say i need to just check something i can't get on my phone so instead of just putting my finger on there so everything comes up i have to do this or you can just enter the boss did the boss just see me look at my phone or you can just enter the code in there like four digit code like we all do enter the code yeah it's like a you know a little four digit code the home button the home button's not there anymore yeah, I mean, we're talking about... You have to do that, yeah. swipe, enter yeah. a code, Boom, everything. and two seconds. Right, right, so you have to do that. But you just want to quickly... It's all about the quickness, Phil. Yeah, okay. The quickness. Boom, boom, done. Uh, now, you know that was a silly thing for iPhone. You know this. That was a silly thing for iPhone to do, to get rid of that. I mean, not really. It's not a big deal for me. I use the code or use the face ID. Think about your people, your iPhone people. You keep saying for me... You are representing the iPhone community. But do I think that people are going to switch from iPhone just because they moved the Touch ID? If they kept, yes. th- if they didn't switch because yes. of the jack. Simple answer, yes. <laughs> no, they won't do it because of Touch. 
If they didn't let us know in the comments change? below if you would switch just because they got rid of the touch ID. Please let me know. Yeah. So if they didn't leave iPhone after losing the headphone jack, they're not gonna leave iPhone just because of a little Bruh. touch. Right. Some people did leave iPhone because of the headphone jack. Oh, well, some did, but the real true fans kept just like on the Cowboys. You know, when they weren't winning. Don't bring my Cowboys into this. Or don't bring the my Patriots, Cowboys into this. You know, some people went off the Patriots when they weren't winning. But when they went in, those are the those are the true fans. Like the 49ers, they're not winning right now, but the true fans will always support them. The Browns, the true fans always support them. So when they do become winning, then they're like, I was there the whole time. When's the last time the Browns won a Super Bowl? Well, I'm, I'm just using them. And these, these things are never going to happen for the Browns. But Did they win the past seven years? Did they even no. have a winning record? No. No. So is it okay to say, just because we have true fans, okay, I'm the Browns, I represent the Browns, mm -hmm. and you are my fan, mm -hmm. right? You're a fan of me. Is it okay for me to just keep losing, to keep bringing in lackluster performance, mm -hmm. because you as a fan, I will take advantage of the fact that you are not going to go anywhere? I'm like, listen, they'll, they'll give us time to get it right. Well, listen, well, let's just take their money. They're going to come, let's just keep taking their money, and they're going to show up. And we're going to get it right one day. But, you know, let's not be in a rush to do that because he's not going anywhere. By the time the Browns win a Super Bowl, we will be long and gone from this world. <laughs> I mean, we never know. We never know. We've got heard a long life to live. I mean, so I plan on living another 100 years. And that's why I'm saying the Browns aren't going to win any Super oh, Bowl damn. for the next 100 years. Shots fired to Cleveland. Pew, pew. Oh, my. But pew. that's why iPhone avenged us with this new 10. Not the X, but the 10. You know, so I think it's going to be, you know, a big hit. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to sell really well. I think people are really excited. There's a lot of buzz around it. You know, Apple's finally gotten back on the ball. You know, that's why the poor Apple people will get the eight. But the elite people, the true Apple people that they want will get the ten. That's all I'm saying. There's no nines here. Just from eight to ten. Just like the 5C versus 5S. 5 cheap, you know, and then the 5S is the elite. The flagship. Okay, so let's just take a look. I, I'm not a listen. I am not a Samsung fanboy, and I'm not an Apple juice junkie. Mm. I am a man that wants what my money is paying for. I need the value. Okay. Okay. So let's go from uh, that standpoint. Is that okay? Can we go? Can we go there? Okay. All right. Yeah. And from that standpoint, nine hundred ninety-nine dollars for the iPhone X. Mm. Okay. It's really gonna be. $1,150 and $49 if I got the 256 gigabit um, storage space. Mm. That's because the iPhone doesn't want to break down and just use the micro SD, mm -hmm. just like everyone else does. So you can add and expand your own storage, right? Yep. So we're at $1,149. This is called $1,150, just for easy math, okay? Then it says something on their page about the iPhone X that it comes with Ten. quick charge. 10, I apologize, the iPhone 10, it comes with quick charge, and in parentheses it says beta. I know you haven't had a chance to research that, but the nerd of me, me being a nerd, <laughs> oh, okay. right? I went and researched that. <laughs> and it says beta. No, Apple, it is not beta. It actually works. It is a fully functioning item integrated into your phone. So now you're saying that is a beta thing because you know why? You have to buy an $84 cable. <gasps> mm. iPhone, you did it again. You figured out a way to take more money from my friends. My friends that don't know better. My friends that are the same as the Brown fans. That are just going to stick it out and just get spanked on the butt. Mm. I had a sense for myself. I couldn't take it there. But get spanked on the butt. Mm. Wow. So now we're at, what, like... 1200 and what? Let's call it, let's call it 1300. Yeah, 1300. Let's call it 1300. Yeah. Just that. for you to quick charge. Now, guys, iPhone, my iPhone brothers and sisters, listen. My Apple Juice junkies, listen to me, please. I know my Android voice is falling upon deaf ears. I know. <laughs> it is. I, I know it is. <laughs> okay. <What? laughs> I know what I'm saying. You'll probably need an iPhone to translate it because it sounds like Android, me, 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 okay? But you guys deserve better. 
for the for the status that you guys are looking for or have for the rich iPhoneers and us meagle inferior poor droid users with mm. no other choice mm. because we can't buy an iPhone mm. we can't spend 70 80 more dollars to buy an iPhone mm. even though they have payment plans that will allow anyone to buy an iPhone even my dog that I don't have can have <laughs> an awesome. iPhone if they wanted but because of that because of that you guys are letting yourselves be taken advantage of Apple is taking your money and what are they giving you stuff that Android or Samsung or LG had years ago mm. They give you a all glass screen. You excited about that, Phil? The all glass screen? Yes, I, I am. Why are you excited about that? I mean, I just, I just like the all glass look. I mean, I just think it looks modern, looks good. Right. The new iPhone 10 just looks really good. And I think that's one of my favorite things about the iPhone. The aesthetics. The aesthetics. The aesthetics of it. Yeah. yeah like cool. it just looks good. Now, 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 Phil, if if someone's just buying it just for the aesthetics uh, purpose of it. I have no problem. Like, hey, I don't care what's in that phone. It could be Swiss sandwich. <laughs> but as long as it looks dope on the outside, I'm in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The only thing Mac is doing to you guys, the only thing Apple is doing to you guys is it's giving you guys the rope dope right here. It's not, it's not dope. It's giving you the rope dope. That screen will not be able to survive a three-foot fall. What happens? Oh, wait, you have to go to the Genius Center. They're not really geniuses. Genius Park. Oh, sorry about that. The genius bar. Mm-hmm. Drunk geniuses. They're pretty sober. And then you have to get the insurance. Who's making money off the insurance? I don't know. Apple's just amazing. I mean, they're just so amazing because of the way they just abuse their customer base. And their customer base is so amazing because they just bend over and take the abuse so much, just willingly. They, they scare you guys. They use scare tactics. I'm pretty sure they use this in war. Mm. If you switch over to Android, how are you going to get your iTunes? Mm. True. And I, I should put a devil voice on that one for that one. How are you going to FaceTime? How are you going to FaceTime? Right? Yeah. I'm hitting that shit. FaceTime. Yeah. That's important. I don't know how they're going to FaceTime. I don't know. I mean, that's that's a key thing nowadays is the FaceTime. People don't even how? just make phone calls anymore. How are you going to FaceTime? You added the effects to the effects. I did. <laughs> okay. How are you going to FaceTime? So, I mean, that's the thing is nowadays people don't just call simply on the phone. They FaceTime call you. I can't imagine how many, especially young kids nowadays, they FaceTime call you. Well, Philip, there's a app called Google Allo, which is uh, it's like iMessage, and but it's better than iMessage. And at the same time, it has built-in video connectivity mm. for anybody that has it. And it could be on iPhone, Android, whatever. Oh, I, I, Voice of the devil. I didn't really hear about Allo until recently oh really yeah i don't think that's really a huge thing like that you, you have know, it on your phone though i do have it on my phone because you, you made me phone. download it but i mean i'd rather just use you facetime on your phone though facetime you know i, I, I just think facetime is way bigger right than Apple's, do you know right? uh, apple purposely made it hard for you to be able to transfer your files to another phone because they don't want you to leave mm-hmm. but yeah, now after sense. an injunction they had to make their files uh, easier to transfer over samsung comes with one little device that you plug in your iphone and everything goes into the samsung smooth transition and you know i know this phil because i've i've converted a lot of iphone users i have convert i feel like i am the new age phone messiah and I'm here to take people from the Devil Corp, which is Mac, which is Apple. Yes, Devil Corp. I'm glad you still. Hey, when's the next season coming? We'll talk about Should that. Should be coming season. out soon. Soon, yeah, yeah. They don't want to rush it because they want it to be good quality. Yeah, yeah. And I just want people to see, like, keep your iPhone, but don't treat everybody else like crap. Don't treat everyone like shit. We don't treat them bad. We don't treat them bad. <laughs> we don't treat We're, Android people bad. We're just people. You guys are people. We're not Android people. We're people. Yeah, you guys are people. Just not iPhone people. The the reason I don't have a problem with Android, and I even said the Samsung's a good phone. If I was hardcore into like all this extra computer stuff, I I like the Samsung. That's good for what people do. But I always say for what I do, the iPhone is the best for me. It's really simple, easy user user uh, interface. You know, it has the iTunes. I've always had, you know, iTunes on my computer and stuff. I had a MacBook. It synced up with it, the cloud. You know, 
Um, it has FaceTime. It has all the apps I need and everything. And this looks really good. That's the thing is I just really care about the basics with phones. I don't need to do a million things at all, right? I just like the exclusivity and you know, around in a community of iPhone people. You can airdrop. I like the airdrop stuff right there, you know, airdrop some documents and stuff. You know, it's just everything you said we have. You guys do have that. It's just not as well known as iPhone. Because they treat us like peasants. <laughs> I mean, you guys, Samsung people aren't peasants. There's some Android people that are kind of peasanty. Uh, but iPhone, I just is more. It's it's kind of like life. that that guy with a, a really nice car, but lives in his mom's basement <laughs> oh. on uh, one mattress with a, a sheet <laughs> and a crusty sock right next to him. The only problem I have with Android people is that they're always in a constant battle of proving their phones work compared to iPhone. We just make fun of you guys like little green screen and stuff and, the, you know, basic little things. You guys are like, Android's better for this. And, ew, you guys have just as much hate for us. Phil, Phil, I, rem- I remember a time when you needed the help of my Android I did to be time. able to download an update for your iPhone. I did. I did. And now, you know, in the future... Mm. You know, that's mm. what we're we're talking about the you know the ten versus the Note eight. You know, um, I don't need that anymore. You know, I did at one point need that, so it's like a constant right. battle back and forth. Sometimes right. the Samsung does have some better technology and stuff. Sometimes the iPhone does some better stuff. But at the end, it's for what you need it for and what you like it for. Versus like a MacBook. I'm gonna make a prediction. Seat. I'm gonna make a prediction. iPhone will start to lose their traction, which they already started. They're going to lose a large majority of the customer base because it will go over to Samsung and other phones that are going to give the people what they need. Not only what they need, but what they want. Because I'm not in the need business. I'm in the want business. I want fast phones, technology, space. In a world of heavy data usage, and you know this, Phil, we use a lot of data, video, audio, all this stuff. You got you to gotta have a phone that is snappy, that is responsive, that is easy to use, user-friendly. And yes, iPhone does have the user-friendly thing going on. It does. You know, they set the precedent there. But they need to stop scaring the customers and start educating them so that they can make their own decisions. iTunes is not the end of the world. Guys, you can transfer all of your files. It takes two seconds. I mean, I also would like to mention the fact that uh, the iPhone 10 is going to have a faster processor than the Note 8. The A11 has not been clocked as being a faster processor than the. You know what the Note 8 uses? That's what's predicted. Do you know what the Note 8 uses? I don't remember. Uh, I'll I'll tell you if you like. Snapdragon? Yeah, Snapdragon. Right. But it's now ours. This is rated a little bit better. I mean, maybe that's early predictions, you know, uh, by the tests and everything. But according to research, all right, it says it has a uh, 51% increase. For Apple's chip, that's just what it read. That's just what I read. I mean, I'm cool. not saying I tested cool. anything. Cool. Cool. That's, that's cool. That's what I read right now. I mean, just saying. Okay. So I want fast stuff. So here, well. here we go. I got the the specs right here. I'm just gonna run it by you guys. Let's get in. We're, we're we're about to wrap up soon, but um, we have the um, the size. Who cares about the size? Do you guys care about the size? Do you care about the size, Phil? No. Okay. We'll just go to screen size then. Okay. Uh, 5.8. Inch OLED made by Samsung. They, they didn't put that there because we're by Samsung. Mm. Um, and the Note 8 is a 6.3 inch Super AMOLED resolution. All right, I'm just gonna say Samsung's Note 8 beats it. Okay. OS iOS 11. Who cares? Android 7.11. Who cares? <laughs> Storage 64 gigabyte or the 256 gigabit. Mm. Right? Gigabyte. Sorry about that. The Android 64 gigabyte or the 128 or the 256 international. Right. Micro SD slot, no. For iPhone, yes. For Android, for sorry about it, the Note 8. NFC support, yes. Apple Pay only. What? Only for Apple Pay? Nothing else? Oh, that sucks. Um, NFC support for Note 8, yes. You know when you can just touch your phone onto like a device and it just gets connected? That's NFC support. Mm. You know, like how my phone does that? Yeah. Uh, processor, uh, A11 Bionic. Ooh. It's kind of mm. taking like the droid bionic. <laughs> okay. Wow, they're trying to make you guys feel like it's a robot in your thing, con- controlling everything. Mm. And then you know the Snapdragon 835 Qualcomm. Who cares? It's a nerdy answer. RAM. Yeah. It's out of here. Coming soon. Oh. Um, for us, six gigabit oh, connectivity. Okay. Uh, you know all that normal stuff. Mm. Camera, 
dual 12 megapixel rear. Mm -hmm. Okay, they both have that mm -hmm. rear. Okay, yes. and uh, we just have one megapixel um, higher in the front camera. Okay. Um, IP67. Wow, you got rid of the headphone jack and everything, and it's only IP67. We're IP68. Mm. Um, your capacity is coming soon, but it's claimed to have 21 hours of talk time, or it says 22 hours of talk time. Ours is beating you guys by one hour, but um, 74 hours of audio playback. You only got 60 hours of audio playback. Fast charging up to 50%. Oh, in 30 minutes. And then wireless charging. Fast charging, wireless charging, standard. It doesn't say up to anything. It's just that's what it is. Lightning cable that you need an adapter for for the iPhone X and a USB uh, C for us. You have Apple Store, we have Google Store, Silver and Space Gray, Midnight Black. Ooh, that's that's my nickname, Midnight Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Gray. Uh, all the providers. Price point one thousand dollars, and that's for the base model. And I mean, and I just nine thirty like for us. Oh, uh, four out of five so stars like for uh, the, the Note Eight. And you guys are still getting a review. Listen, I just want to say, look, I love you guys. I love you. I love the iPhone guys. I love the Android guys. But you know what? At the end of the day, if you guys are going to put these Android people, like, I, I'm a business owner. A lot of people that rock iPhones, right? Do you go home and say, damn, mom and dad, my, my boss, he, he uses Android. I don't think I can work there anymore. No, man, you're making this Android money. <laughs> from your Android boss, <laughs> oh, and then you go and then you go and talk and smack on that Snapchat. Come on, what do you want to say, Phil? Go ahead, man. Let's I mean, I think since you know we're doing video and recording and all that stuff, I think it, it also comes down to video a lot of times. So, according to the iPhone 10, don't know, right? Uh, so it can record 4K footage at up to 60, 60 frames, frames per second. second. All right. Hey, don't hit Compared that. Time. Did you just go? Look, did you just go and look that up? No, this is already saved. Did you just go look that? Up? I think you just went and looked it up Co on your phone. Compared you little shit. with just 30 frames per second for the Note 8, and it outshines the Note 8 with slow mo video. So you know you want to go a little bit slow, fast, slow, you know, and everything. Mm. So it the um, the Note 8 right mm. can record. 1080p footage at up to 240 frames per second versus I'm sorry that's the iPhone iPhone 10 can do 1080p footage at up to 240 frames per second versus a lower resolution 720p at the same frame rate for Samsung's phone and I mean since we're in the world of videos and you know we're recording and stuff like that I think video is just very important you know what, Phil? I, I totally agree with you. And if those specs are correct, then uh, you do have one point out of the many points that I've made. <laughs> you do get that plus one. Can, can someone put plus one up there for Phil? <laughs> All right. So, Phil, now the score is plus one to 100. Okay? It's a pretty big plus. It's a, it's a pre Honestly, it is if I'm going to be moving that slow. But I don't got time to move that slow. All right? <laughs> um, but you're right. That is uh, – that is a fact. Uh, until someone else can, if, if someone else can prove it's wrong, please let us know. Yeah. Now, to everyone, like, listen, me and Phil, we we talk like this all the time. This is not even have to. It didn't, it didn't even need to be a podcast. But since we want to just try out the new audio equipment on the new podcast, ear me out. Nice little play on words. Um, we just wanted to talk about what we normally talk about, and we just want to know what your thoughts are. iPhone 10, no eight. Why do Android people come across as poor to you? Mm. I mean, like nowadays, like if we're going to marry someone, do they need to know uh, your uh, your blood type, any uh, history of illnesses, and the type of phone you use? I don't know. I guess that needs to be up for another uh, discussion on another podcast. But um, be careful. Be careful who you diss and uh, throw to the side just because of the color of their um, screen, the color of their bubble. Hmm. Now we're rated by the color of our bubble, which is really sad. When an iPhone person hits me up, I'm not like, hey, dude, are you an iPhone? No, man. I'm like, what's up? How's it going? I respect you for want. I respect you for knowing what you want. Let's get it. Like if, like if any girl didn't want to date me because I'm an Android user, they are the dumbest girls in the world. <laughs> like, they're just dumb. <laughs> it's never that serious. What? It's not really serious? I have people that I've texted before and they're like, wait, wait a minute, is, 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 are you an Android? Oh, 
And they never text back. <laughs> they never text back. Oh, I have people that I have invited to come and work for me. And like, wait, you have an Android? Oh, well, I guess you don't make hundreds of thousand dollars a, a year. Like, no, that doesn't happen. Mm. Mm. And for those people, oh, well, goodbye. Adios. It's fine. But for the rest of you guys, let's make this a discussion. Let's talk about this. Mm. Let us know in the comments below. Like, for sure. For sure. Any closing statements, Phil? Any uh, nerdy stuff you got going on over there <laughs> in your phone? Oh, um, not really. I mean, I just want to say, you know, just kind of sum up the debate and everything like that. I mean, both phones. This, oh, this was a debate? I just thought it was a discussion. Or the discussion. Okay. Uh, you know, some people may look at it as a debate. But, I mean... I always say both phones are really good, you know, both phones, you know, do what they're supposed to do, which is the basics with any phone. It just depends on your preference. You know, some people like different types of things and like to do different types of things with their phones. So is the iPhone right for some people? No, not at all. Right. Some people, the Android is better for what they like and what they do. And for some other people, the majority, the iPhone is just, uh, better for what they do and it has cool stuff like uh the new animal emojis that are coming up that are gonna go viral it'd be pretty fun and just kind of hit you know that's just kind of what i gotta say and uh, i like the way you said that so hopefully i mean you will be more open-minded to people who use android phones yeah definitely. um i'm not gonna have this war it, like it's so funny how like iphone and a android also kind of represents race <laughs> the hierarchy and because we were known to deal with, I don't know, people like Cricket, mm, Metro, mm, Metro, because, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, <laughs> we are tarnished forever because we gave other people the opportunity to be able to have a functioning smartphone. So Samsung, LG, Motorola, all those people are just shunned. Because they gave the opportunity to other people to have what iPhone users have. Mm -hmm. That's sad. That's sad. That Samsung learned their lesson. I mean, they got rid of all their like cheaper phones and everything like that, and right. just got to the more elite phones. So they learned their lesson. So they're right. Grown. But I, I feel like, listen, the world isn't perfect. But if you have the power to give like a mid-range or uh, a low-end solution mm -hmm. to the customer base, then then do it. Now, iPhone came out the iPhone C. That's the first time I saw iPhone try to do anything. The iPhone, mm -hmm. we called the iPhone cheap, cheap. Exactly. But um, at the end of the day, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm Samsung. I was looking for the iPhone 10 to be the the pound for pound winner. I would have switched over to iPhone 10. I am telling you, I would have done it. Mm. And I am waiting for the time the iPhone opens their eyes and says, yo, we are going to come with some major technology. You're going to pay $1,000. That's pound for pound. going to get you the features and benefits and everything that you want in a phone and what you didn't know you wanted in a phone. And when that day comes, Philip, I'll pop a glass of champagne with you. Mm. And we can look back and laugh at all the green bubbles that pop up. <laughs> Just joking. All right, guys, we're glad to have you here on our first podcast of Ear Me Out. Please let us know in the comments below. Subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Phil's going to be coming up with a site soon, so you're going to be seeing more of him. And uh, thanks for uh, earing us out. Laters, guys. All right, later, guys.